So a lot of people are talking about T-bills right now. T-bills are a great place to port short, put short-term liquidity. You can get them you know, to expire within four weeks all the way out to 52 weeks. They're a T-bill. So the expiration on those, the life of those investments are 52 weeks or shorter. So again, it's a great place to put short-term cash. Looking at treasurydirect.gov earlier today, it looks like the last auction had the four-week at a 3.62% discount rate, or you can look at that as your interest rate. That's basically the interest you would make had you held it for a full year. You have to understand that. A lot of people are saying that, oh, okay, it's a 3.62% rate. If I put $10,000 into that, I'm going to get $362. No, you're not. If you buy a four-week, you're going to get $362 divided by 12, right? So $362 divided by 12, you are going to get $30.16, that's what you will get. That's an annualized 3.62% interest rate. You're not going to get that whole thing at the end of a month. That I mean, that's a 36% interest rate. You're not going to get that. I don't think a lot of people understand that. So please just make sure you do understand that. If you buy a 52-week T-bill, you're not going to get monthly installments of your interest payments. You only get interest at the very end of the hold period and basically the way it works, you buy it at a discount reflecting that 3.62% interest rate. When the thing expires, when you reach maturity, you get all of the face value of that thing back. So you're going to buy it at a discount to reflect the 3.62% interest rate. When it matures, you're going to get the entirety of the investment back. So you buy it at a discount, you get the, the entire face value back. The main thing here is, remember, if it's 3.6%, you're going to get 3.6% divided by 12 months. So if you hold it for four weeks, you're only going to get one month's worth of that 3.6.